So we're going to be looking at what we call traversability. And traversability is basically a network where you can go along every single path and not repeat any of the paths more than once. So kind of like not retracing your steps. You can go along every single edge and you do cover every single edge in the network without repeating a single edge the whole way through. And if you're thinking this sounds a lot like Euler, it basically is. Um, an Euler path and an Euler circuit are both traversable because they both require that you can walk along every single edge within a circuit. Sorry, within a network. So um, a couple things for us to remember is that an Euler path will have two odd nodes and an Euler circuit will be all even. So we can use those same hints that helped us identify whether things were an Euler path or an Euler circuit to help def determine whether things are traversable or not. So if you have two odd nodes, start on one of the odd nodes and make sure you finish on the other and you'll have an Euler path and you will also have a traversable network. If you have all even nodes, start on any of the nodes, you'll finish back where you started and again it will be traversable and you will have an Euler circuit. In the other situation, for instance again only one odd node can't make it traversable or four odd nodes cannot make it traversable. So it's very similar to Euler. Um, these are some of the examples that they give here and in this situation it's the same that we looked at earlier. We've got one and two odd nodes so we know that we can start at one of them and we will finish at the other. And in this situation, if you look carefully through this network, we've got two, four, four, two, four, four, four. They're all even. So you could start on any node and finish on any node. And the thing to keep in mind here is that start on any node. And here you can only start, you're limited to where you can start. only on A or D because those are the odd nodes. So when we look at this in practice, for the problems that they're looking for us to do, um, I'll look at number 23. First thing I'm going to do is identify the even vertices. So I've got even, 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 even. So that's H, E, D and C were all even. And now looking at A, it's got three, so that's an odd one. B has three, it's odd. G has three, it's odd. F has three, it's odd. So what we have in this situation is that it is not traversable because we can see that it's got more than two odd vertices. And again, it has to be exactly two odd vertices or none at all for it to be traversable. So there would be no start and end points. So that's the information you're looking for. If you've got two odd vertices, it can be traversable and it would be an Euler path. If you've got no odd vertices, it can be traversable, it's an Euler circuit. In any other circumstance, it'll not be traversable. So in this case, it's not even worth it to try and find your path through this network because there's no way to do it without repeating yourself. Um, on the ones that you do find that it is traversable, I recommend trying to find that path um, between them.